how can we create a beautiful animation like this that's what we are going to learn today how can we make the camera move around an object uh, okay that that's uh, which we have defined uh, in our scene for our game that's what we are going to learn today so this is a car around which the camera is moving around which the camera is rotating so let's begin with the lecture so the first thing that we are going to do is let me just come out from this preview and I'm going to remove all the assets that I've downloaded from the internet so that I can show you everything right from the beginning so this is this is what I have got fine now what you have to do is we need to we need a car uh, for our game right so for that we are going to come on the browser and we are going to search for the asset for the required asset in the asset store of unity okay how can we do that let me just tell you that first and after that we are going to uh, talk about the script that we can use which we can use which we can define in the visual studio and connect it with the car so as to see it uh, rotating okay so first of all you need to check out uh, three check out for 3d car in unity 3d store that's what you need to type in and automatically you'll come across several websites now you need to visit this assets and packs of uh, unity asset store and this is where you can uh, you know you are going to see several filters over here which you can apply for finding out the required asset for your game so I need a vehicle and what else do I need let's check out the other filters pricing I need a free asset you know I do not want to pay anything for my asset I want a, I want a free of cost asset and as I'm using unity 5.6.1 okay so that is the reason I need to select this option fine this is all I think I need to do and besides that I need to set the platform also I need to set the filter for the for the platform too so I'm using Windows 7 right now so here for this uh, platforms I need to apply the filter to so these are the results that uh, are going to get reflected let's see what can we use let's make you make use of this sports car model okay let's see what are we going to get so this is uh, this is the kind of window that I'm, I'll, I'm going to come across I need to hit this add to assets option and now I need to open it in my unity right so after this when I will come on my unity in the asset store I will be able to see the option that I have selected okay it is getting uploaded right now so we need to wait for some time it is the car so here I will be getting a download option I need to download the car first so this is how the download is going to happen now I need to import it in my software in my uh, unity platform it is going to get reflected in a window like this you know you can see everything here the models the material everything related to the 3d car that we have selected in the asset store now we need to hit this import button 
and here you will be able to see some folders created automatically the uh, whole thing will get finished this is the folder that uh, we will come across once all the packages will get uploaded now what we need to do is we need to come in the, inside this folder and here inside this we will be able to see you know different other things materials textures in the car that we have imported now the first thing that we can do is we can define a platform on which we can make the car stand so for that let's make use of a cube and what we can do with this cube is we can increase the length breadth and height of this cube like this okay and let's increase the so this is how you know you can play with this cube and and now this this thing is looking fine so where's the camera let's move it in the upward direction like this and let's let it let, let us bring it here okay so this is what we have got right now now here on the top of this uh, platform let's define this car let's put drag and drop this car like this okay now this is how the car is going to look like let us increase the size of this uh, platform somewhat more okay so this is the car now let's bring the camera closer to the car so that we can see the side view of the car let's rotate the camera like this okay now we are able to see the side view of this car right here in this game window this is how the game is going to look like now what else do we need to do let's impart a texture to this uh, to the floor of this car uh, no not not this let's make use of this one this is better now in order to make this camera rotate the first thing that we require is an empty, a, an empty object so that's how you can define an empty object the name that I've given to this empty object is rotate and hit enter once you're done with renaming it okay so this is an empty object now I need to put this main camera inside this empty object okay remember this thing because we are going to control this camera through this empty object how we can do that by creating a script so we need to right click here and create and C sharp script we need to create So camera rotate is the name that I've given to this C sharp script. I'm double clicking it and opening it up in the Visual Studio where I'm going to define the required code for making it revolve around the car. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to remove this uh, function start from here and then inside this update function we need to make use of transform dot rotate you know this is a function that we can make use of for rotating an object in our game so now what we need to do is we need to pass values for all the three axes x y and z z axis inside this rotate uh, function because i do not want to uh, rotate the object Along, I don't want the camera to rotate along the x-axis so that is the reason I'm going to pass 0 for x-axis I want it to revolve I want it to rotate around the y-axis so I'm going to pass a negative value for this y-axis and for z I'm going to keep it a 0 because I don't want to make it revolve around the rotate around the z-axis so that's how you can pass the value 
now after saving the changes you need to come on this unity platform again select this uh, c sharp script that you have created and put it on this rotate this uh, you know empty this empty object that you have created now when you will click on this uh, rotate object in the property inspector you will be able to see that this script has been successfully added to this rotate object let's now check out what is the kind of result we are going to get let's see where is this uh, rotate object present right now by focusing by pressing focusing key f key we can see that i think where is that because we need to you know adjust the position of this also so this is outside this car as you can see we need to move it inside this is the a rotate empty object okay so we need to put it here so as you can see the you know the camera is also moving along with this just because we have put the camera inside the empty object we have created okay and if i'll put if i want to put it inside the car what are the coordinates of the car let me just check it it is minus 2 okay so if i'll copy these coordinates from here uh, x coordinate is this 0.67 minus 2 and Zero point six seven and Z is minus two, so that's how also you know I can make the adjustment due to floating point precision limitations. Okay, no problem. What is the value of this uh, X? It is minus two point six something. So the same I'm going to pass for this uh, rotate object also. so that i can make it perfectly fit inside the car so the car's y coordinate for this position is 0.67 and minus 2 for z so for rotate 0.67 and minus 2 for now i think this is perfectly fine the rotate this empty object is inside this car now let's see what are we going to get as a result where is the camera this is a camera and let us hit this play button and see what are we going to get as a result in the game window so this is the result you are going to get that's how you can make the adjustments right and as you can see here the camera is rotating uh, you know based on the rotation of this uh, object the empty object that we have created it is the one which is making the camera to revolve around this car okay so that's how you can control the camera now one more thing that i would like to tell you is the value that we have passed over here is a hard core value if suppose you want to make use of a variable which we can see here inside this script with which we can control the speed of the movement of this camera so how can we do that for doing that we can we can define a public float variable float we use for uh, you know this is a data type that we use for decimal decimal type of values so public float speed is a variable we can use right uh, you can use the name you can give the name to this variable whatever uh, you prefer okay according to your preference you can select the name now we can make use of this speed variable here inside this transform dot rotate option we need to multiply this with time dot delta time why so that so as to uh, convert it into per second so this is the uh, 
uh, you know property which help us in create which helps us in converting the speed in per second format let's save the script save the changes come back on this uh, unity platform and select uh, you can hit any of the object and then again come on this rotate object let's see whether the speed variable is visible to us in the, inside this script yes the speed variable is visible but right now the by default value that we are able to see here is zero so when you will hit this camera uh, when you will hit this play button you will not be able to see this camera moving why just because the speed is zero let's pass a value for this let's say minus 5 for now we are passing let's hit this play button what are we going to get as a result so as you can see the camera is camera has started moving okay so this is a result you are going to get now you don't need to go on this visual studio window again and again in order to control the speed you can control the speed by uh, giving some other value you you know you can control the speed through this variable on this unity platform so this is uh, what i would like to end up with hope you like the lecture please do practice it uh, at your home on also on your laptop in case you come across any new thing in case you come across any issue please share it with me in the comment section so that i can help you guys out with uh, you know in resolving the issue thank you very much and have a great day bye bye